What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw the gas from My Singing Monsters. Let's begin today's lesson at the top center of our page and draw a large circle for the eye. We're gonna start from the very top. Just gonna slowly work our way down towards the bottom and then bring that back up towards the top. Now because we'll be rotating the head towards the left, we're gonna draw an oval on the left side. So the line at the top, go all the way over and draw that oval, coming down towards the same height and bring that back up towards the top. Now I want to draw this character looking towards us. So in the center of the right eye, let's draw a small circle. Let's add a smaller circle along the top for highlight. And we'll fill the bottom area in black. Now on the left side, we're going to pull the pupil towards the right side. Let's draw that same size circle going all the way around. Add a small highlight circle on the top and we'll fill in the bottom. Let's add those lines inside the eye. Starting from the very top of the pupil, draw a straight line going up and then extend that down towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go to the side of the pupil, draw a straight line going out towards the left and right. And then on the left eye, go straight out. Now I can draw one more angle line in between. Let's start on the top left, going up and out, and then to the right, and then come down towards the bottom. Now from here we're going to move down and draw in the mouth. Let's start with the center, starting underneath the left eye, bend this down, and then up. Let's add a fang, coming down and up like a V on both sides. Now on the left, we're going to go out and up. Go to the right, go all the way around the bottom of the right eye, towards the top. I'm going to pull this back down and in. Let's add another fang pointing up. Point up and then down. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve. And it'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now that we've drawn in the face, let's move up and draw in the right ear. On top of the right eye, we step up, we're gonna bend this up, and then out towards the back. Now from here, we're gonna bend this in, and then down. Let's layer the top of the head in behind. So from this point, we're gonna step up, bend the head going across, and then down. Now in the center of that line, draw the back side of the ear, going up, out. Now I'm going to curve this around the eye, down along the mouth, and then back up. Going around the eye, come down. Now I'm just going to round this out and then just pull that up towards the right. Now from here we're going to move over towards the right and draw on the arm. Let's line up with the bottom of the chin, go over, then the arm going out and then down towards the elbow, then the forearm coming down, and then in towards the hand. Let's draw on that first finger. We step up, and this out and down towards the tip, round up the finger, and just pull that back out. Let's add another finger. Stepping down, go out and then down, round up the side of the finger, and then pull that back in. Now along the side, we draw a straight line going across the bottom of the thumb, bend this up above the hand, 
and bend that down, aiming towards the elbow. Let's add a fold. Just step back, fold the arm coming up and in. Now with the arm in place, we're gonna finish off the back side of the head. It's gonna line this up along the back side of the ear, go out, round out the body, and then pull that in behind the arm. Let's continue down along the bottom, come down and in. Now I'm gonna move over and draw the front side of the body, starting underneath the head, and then down and then out. Now you wanna round out the body, come down and in towards the bottom. Let's work our way up towards the end of the tail. So we continue that curve, going around the back, and pull that up, and we'll just bend that out towards the end of the tail. Let's round up the end of the tail, and it's gonna taper this so it gets wider as it comes in and down, and then we'll just tuck this in behind the side of the body. Now you move over and tuck the left arm in behind the body. We start by lining up the elbows on the side, and it's down and out with a short line, and then we'll overlap the thumb. Stepping up, come down and out, go up and out. Let's draw on the first finger, coming out and then down towards the tip, then it's around and then in towards the top. Let's add one more finger in behind. Starting along the side, and it's out and down. And then we go out, blend into the arm, coming up and then in. Let's add a fold across the elbow, stepping out, bend this in and then up. Now I want to surround the body with five orbs. Let's start on the left side of the head, start with a circle. Let's add another one underneath the hand. Let's add one in the center of the body along the bottom. And add two more, one underneath the tail and one tucked in behind the side of the body. So let's start down here. And then on the side, we're gonna draw a half circle. Now to add that effect along the inside of each orb, we're just going to add a wiggly line. Start from the top, just going to wiggle this all the way around, leaving a gap along the outside, and work our way back up towards the top. Let's do the same thing to each of these circles. Now we're gonna go back and fill the outside area of each orb. And now we're gonna go back and trace each of the circles along the outside. Just trying to leave an even space gap all the way around. Now let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw the gas from My Singing Monsters. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.